Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Them Dems at it again. They are at it one more again. That's a street thing. That's a don't worry about that. That's that's definite old school street ebonics. One more again. The Dems have done it. And they don't see the problems that they're creating for themselves in the future. Your man Tucker personally has a problem with people that don't fess up, with people that don't own up, man up to their mistakes. I have a very large problem with that. You see, I am the kind of person, I come from a lineage where you make a mistake, you stand up to it, you own it, you move on from it. But the Democrats, and I can say this time, the Democratic Party, not just the lefties, not just the left extremes, not the liberals, but the Democratic Party is so deftly afraid of being wrong that they changed the definition of the word recession. It has been accepted for decades that recession means Two consecutive quarters, which are three-month periods, two separate three-month periods where I won't bore you with the uh, actual technical terms, the GDP. I'll just give it to you right. Two consecutive three-month terms where the value of your dollar goes to shit. It's happened even though we didn't have to be told that as regular people because we see our paychecks ain't going anywhere near as far. I can tell you from personal experience that my insurance vehicle and home has doubled over a year, mainly because the economy was going to shit and the money has to come from somewhere. And the Democrats did not want this to go as a mark on their watch. They did not want to have a recession on their watch. Well, as I was told when I was a child by my mother, you put want in one hand, you put get in the other, and see which one gets full first. You may not have wanted it to happen, but it happened. It happened on your watch. You are primarily culpable. Notice I didn't say you are the only one, but you are the primary. So I don't give a shit what you want. Own up to it. Because the techniques that you use you don't understand how they can go and bite you in the ass down the line. So you want to change recession. Okay, you want to change what that means. Well, what if people want to change another word like improvement? What if they want to change what um, profit means? What if they want to cha change what gain means? What if they want to change what murder actually means? Let's change the definition of murder. I'm not shocked because, hell, they've changed the definition of women to the point where most mofos can't even define what the hell a woman is. But I say to the Democrats, I had a podcast a couple of weeks ago where I talked about what's good for the goose is good for the gander. They don't understand the system that they're setting up for themselves to get beat by. They don't understand in their own selfishness, in their own righteous, in their own save my ass kind of way that they're setting themselves up for future failure. Look, man, you lost. A recession happened. You're fucked up on an economic level. Suck it up and deal with it. Do the right thing. Own up to it. Hey, y'all, this is what happened. But they never have. They constantly lie. 
They constantly move the goalpost. Do y'all remember what they said about inflation? Hmm? Let me remind you. That these inflation uh, rises will be transitory, that they will come back down next year. Will uh, settle down. Transitory. <laughs> transitory. <laughs> that inflation will come down next year. This is going to be uh, ease inflationary pressure, not increase, ease inflationary pressure. It will ease longer term inflationary, inflationary pressures. This bill is going to ease inflationary pressures. Everything from a gallon of gas to a loaf of bread costs more. Do you ever think you'd be paying this much for a gallon of gas? And that's what they said about inflation. And we see how wrong they were on that. And now these ass clowns are about to tell you that no, no, we're not in a recession. I mean, I know the value of your dollars going to shit and you can't buy half of what you did this time last year. But no, 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 no. It's not a recession. <sighs> this is what I meant when I said a couple of months ago and I did a segment called Pick a Side. We, we just simply cannot allow them to keep doing us like this. I tweeted out a while back, and if you don't follow us on Twitter, Free Mind Thinkers at Twitter, I tweeted out and said, most people that are called conservatives or Republicans really are just people that have based, rooted, and traditional values and use sane logic and common sense to get through their day. If you do that, that automatically makes you a Republican. That puts you against them. That makes you their ideological enemy because they simply base everything they do on emotion. It's all knee jerk. And then when all that fails, when those emotional actions fail, when those knee jerk actions come back to bite them in the ass, they try to blame you and tell you that it's your fault. They try to tell you that it's raining outside when all they really are doing is pissing on your leg. Nah, you don't get to change the rules during the game. You live by them, you die by them. If you profit off of it, be willing to take a loss with it. But we're not stupid, man. We don't believe, and we damn sure won't stand for it.